Andrea, today was the first day for the firm to meet with supervisors. Representatives talked to the board about why they need legal counsel and how they would help them. There are a lot of unknowns and uncertainties, and so it's incumbent upon the board to be well represented and also to be knowledgeable about these particular matters pertaining to hospital transactions, regardless of which direction or on, or on which end of the spectrum you may be on. That's why Board President Orlando Trainer says the best thing for the county is to spend the money and get experts to help with the OCH debate. The first step is to make sure everybody knows where the issue stands right now. To see exactly where are they in the process, you know, what do they think they want to do as far as the next step. We want to make sure that everything they've done up to, to date fits within the statutory requirements so that, you know, we don't have anything we've got to correct, if you will. And I have no reason to think that there's any, any issues. Decisions on how to handle hospital sales or leases are among the most complicated with thousands of details to consider. Employment matters, you've got retirement matters, uh, you've got existing contracts, you've got outstanding debt issues that you have to, uh, to look at. You've got this, you know, probably most importantly, just the statutory procedure that public entities have to go through, there's certain steps they have to take. While supervisors wrangle with how and who will steer any possible sell or lease, OCH administrators say the uncertainty is hurting the hospital. We've had uh, uh, some employees who have already left because of, you know, the uncertainty. We've had uh, some problems with physician recruitment. Uh, a couple of physicians have even refused to even consider coming to start well, as long as this cloud is hanging over. We, we need this behind us. That's part of where Butler Snow comes in. They hope to be able to advise the board on how to handle the talks. Currently, it looks like a citizens group is gathering signatures to force a public vote on the seller lease of OCH. Andrea.